Spirit Sprinkler, not Jerry Sprinkler. All right, man. We out here. Big Sperry, not Jerry. Shout out to Jerry, man. Oh, man. We just back at it, man. Usual suspects in the building. Got my boy Rico. A1 Rico. Home of everything I said. And, of course, Mystery Man. Talks to 2K. Yep. All right, man. So, I mean, I lost the bet off the rip. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> I already paid, paid that up. But uh, Super Bowl. Super Bowl, was it, was it epic or was the halftime show more epic? That halftime show was more epic, just really? because the Bengals lost. Yeah, I was rooting for Chase and uh, Burroughs to get they get that first one going. Yeah, niggas was trying to get the gap, man. Niggas was trying to get the gap and do the gritty. <laughs> but you fucked with the halftime show. Yeah, I, I I rocked with it. You, yeah, I fucked with the halftime show, but I I I took some from it. It can, I got an epiphany from the halftime show. <laughs> what was it? Niggas too old to be gang banging the LAG. <laughs> <laughs> like, like that I is, G. Like seriously. Like I feel like it should be a cutoff limit. Yeah, like an age. Yeah, like, like when you reach OG status, like you need to let the shit go. So you saying it was wrong for Snoop to wear what he was wearing or what? It's yeah, see, all that, bro. Like, uh -huh. first of all, Snoop outfit look like some corner store shit. Like some <laughs> shit you can go get right from the corner store. And then, like, at the same time, like Come on, Snoop. Like, what you promoting at this age? Uh, <sighs> Lifelong cripplesy. I heard he did because he was. They told him he wasn't allowed to wear the uh, flag on the left side on his jeans, so he just wore the whole thing blue. That's uh, what I heard. I mean, I did. I definitely heard that. Like, because I heard they got on Kendrick about the uh, Pyrus and Crips. Could I get along? They told him not. To yeah. cut it out. He still said it, right? Yeah, I think so. Yeah. Uh, I will say, I ain't gonna lie, I was proud as American to see Snoop Crip walking all over the biggest stage in the world. The whole time, too. I wouldn't, though. I like, I, I, bro, the, that was cultural. Like, bro, this nigga's. On. No, Crip ain't fucking cultural, nigga. It's fucking that gang violence. So, I, so one out of 10, what you, what you graded? Halftime show, too. It was a 10 out of 10. You just didn't like the image he was trying to show. I didn't like the imagery. Yeah. Okay, I, I I feel you. I, I I hear what you're saying, but in the still gave it a ten out of ten. Yeah, it's a ten out of ten. I yeah. think in the grand scheme of things, I get what you're trying to say, but it's like that Snoop Dogg, bro. Like that's what he he's always did and did. And so if a nigga, all right, first off, if he didn't do that, let alone he didn't just unapologetically be himself at that Super Bowl, I would be disappointed. What's well, he? Is it, what so, you wanted to be Rasta Snoop Snoop Lion? So no, no, we we don't want no Snoop Lion. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> no Snoop Lion. But but for real though, Snoop is Snoop. Snoop has Snoop is bigger than the Crips. Yeah, like Snoop name is international. Like you you not taking Crips everywhere you go. So like I just don't like the promotion of this retired Crip, like this lifelong Crip, like the whole L.A. game. It's culture, that shit lame as fuck when you really break it down. I it is I get I get what I get what you're saying, but I get that's what you're saying. LA though. Yeah, but he was sticking up for LA, right? That's that's I, they when people shit. think of LA, they think of that. But exactly, that's what you not don't need to be thinking about. That's what the fuck we need to be getting away from as a coach. Gang violence? Is that what we really all about? I wouldn't no. say it was gang violence. No. It's just on some I'm representing my shit. You gotta understand Snoop Dogg's from Long Beach, California. He literally that whole city, like, there's no such thing as his bloods in Long Beach because of this nigga. Like, everybody that comes out of that city is a crib. And it's like, on some, like, yeah, represent. Here's something to be a part of. This is. But that's not nothing to be proud of. I, it's just been Snoop. It, I, I get, Snoop. No, I'm, I'm not really mad at Snoop for, like, the performance or none of that. Uh -huh. But I'm just saying, like, bro, like, this the one time, like, everybody watching, all the kids watching. Why are you promoting crib? <laughs> You mad you didn't do gin and juice. <laughs> that too. <laughs> uh, hey, that too. But you know he couldn't do gin and juice. Nah, it was mm -hmm. certain. I ain't gonna like that was the one thing that I was like curious of. Like, yo, what songs are these people gonna perform? I ain't gonna lie. And they only had two each. That yeah. made me mad. I knew I knew Eminem was gonna do Lose Yourself. That that one made sense. Mm -hmm. Uh with Dr. Dre, I really I, I knew California Love possibly because it's California, but I'm like, yo, that's Tupac's song still. So I didn't know if that was gonna happen with Snoop Dogg. I'm just like, I, I kind of would have wanted Gin and Juice, or maybe That's like a, a, uh, two of America's Most Juice. Wanted. But Fifty Cent, he wasn't on. The, he wasn't on the roster, was he? Nah, he, he was, was supposed, supposed to be a surprise. Yeah, he, yeah, he was a surprise. That nigga hanging upside down. That's <laughs> why is everybody on my niggas Fifty? Like, bro, like, 
He Why too old for that. He too old for no, that. He, no, he no. They said my nigga. Really, it would have been cool. They, they just set him up. They set him up. They told him to wear the wear the fit. Yo, don't he didn't have to dress like 2003. He, he just let my nigga wear a normal t shirt. I'm not, I'm not mad at 50 though. Like, yeah, it, yeah, it was it was nostalgic. Yeah, you know, it, it brought you back to that moment. I was hype. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I was hype. Yeah, it was nostalgic. I Wait. just I feel like Snoop was feeling stuff out of all of them though. Snoop, he was loving life and the whole the time. He he smoked right before he hit the yeah, stage. People trying to give him shit for that, but nah, that's that's what I'm saying. I would want Snoop to do that. That's what I'm I, saying he I, brought the vibe. I don't like. Okay, I, I fuck with the performance. Ten out of ten. Yeah, the shit, the act, like my nigga, are you <laughs> such a fucking junkie that you have to hit this blunt right before this fucking show? <sighs> <sighs> Like that's just that's just calming his nerves. That's Snoop, first off. So what else do you expect? You expect the nigga go up there sober or what? Yeah, I mean, gee, like this is what we really need to talk about. Okay. Mm-hmm. We need to talk about how the fuck we heads and crackheads are the fucking same. Not at all. Yes. Explain. Cap. But because explain. Listen, y'all have <laughs> listen. I'm 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 gonna break it down to y'all. First of all, like crackheads and alcoholics, mm-hmm. we heads. Come up with every motherfucking excuse. Now y'all for to give me every motherfucking excuse why y'all not. <laughs> and what, when you go to rehab as a uh, goddamn alcoholic, what they say? The the first the first step to knowing to recover from alcoholic is admitting that you are alcoholic. Right. Yeah. That's what anything. Right. Right. So motherfucking like we heads are literally dependent. No, I can't say I'm dependent. I would just like to be going somewhere high. Oh, of course, because you depended. No, but I could do it without it, though. You, but you don't. But I do. I, I do. I'll be with him 90% of the time, you know. I think I, I think I'm smoking I, most of the time, but at the same time, we got to do something to where half the day we handling something. I, I don't got to smoke. I'm going to give it up. I, I, I You've think... never smoked, have you, 2K? Uh, no, I don't smoke. Have you? I have. I mean, I not, not when I say have See, you, but ma- I mean. Matter of fact, the only time I ever got high was you, Terry. Yeah, <laughs> so I respect I respect how you feel about it because you haven't really dibbled and dabbled into it to where you just looking at it from the outside in. How I look at it now that, that's because you are you are defending the substance because <laughs> you take it. But see, I don't smoke weed, and I'm so like I know what we do. Like we, <clears throat> I mean, it has its, it has its own effects. It just depends on the type of person you are. And, right how you can handle shit. A lot of but, niggas can smoke and then they be down for the whole day. But I've told everybody, we like my energy drink. You, you I, feel I, me? I, I can smoke and that's... Mm-hmm. See? Yeah, ain't nobody ever gonna overdose. But see, like... So how can you compare it to crack? No, no, no. Because as an addict, listen, you have to have it the same way. Now, it's no. not, it don't have the same crack effects. Is, right, right. It don't got the same effects as crack. Yeah. But the dependency of the drug is needed in the same amount. I think that weed is more like, so like crack is like, that's just next level. So you're just wild for comparing that. But, <laughs> but, <laughs> bro, I've, I've, I've never, I've never seen a nigga looking like Pookie about some weed. You ain't? About, not Pookie. Like, my go to the fucking hood. Them, them niggas ain't doing crack. They looking bad out there. They try to get a uh, weed. <laughs> <laughs> are you you going overboard with it? Are you I, I don't know. Right, bro. <laughs> <laughs> when it comes to the weed shit, all right, like bro, so Snoop, my nigga, he, that's what he do. He gonna smoke for a show. Bro, you act like on these talk shows and shit. You think them niggas sit, sipping coffee in them in them cups? I, them people them people sipping. No, I can believe that. And I'm not saying and that that's not a they little joint. I'm not saying that they don't have problems either. Yeah. Mm-hmm. But what I'm saying is we here, y'all need to stop. Thinking that y'all are like the best drug users out the bus. See, okay, oh, no, 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 I'm not, no, 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 no. I don't even. Could, I, I'm crazy. I know it's a drug, but I'm not even looking at it like when I'm rolling up that blunt. It's a. I'm harming myself. But I'm saying you you need to be comparing yourself to the crackheads no, as well. You no, know, no, that's the, no, 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 no. That's the statue that y'all on, bro. No. Y'all can't do nothing without the weed. See, I do a lot of things without the weed, see, but I like to do a lot of things with the weed. Yeah, <laughs> I, I don't. Sm- I, I don't. I haven't smoked weed in five years. But like, bro, for me. I was never one of those like I I used to smoke daily. I was real like I smoke smoke, but I was never one of them like I always look that shit kind of corny how niggas do go hard for it like how you was trying to say like like on some like yeah no weeds there's nothing wrong with like I don't even need to say that it's just on some like it, it, it's it's like alcohol 
alcohol is probably not the best thing for you, but it's there's a reason why they allow it. Same thing with weed. Like mm. it's probably not the best thing for everybody, but it can't be too bad if, if it's if it's legal in some places. It's like, not bad at all. And so and bro, I, feel like, I feel like people depend on cigarettes more than weed. Facts. Exactly. Yeah, that's way worse. I feel like people depend on cigarettes way more than they depend on and, some weed. And a lot of shit's better when you high off of weed. Mm-hmm. Right. I, I miss being high off of weed for certain things. Mm-hmm. Hey, I'm I'm not I'm not I'm not for the argue with y'all. Like cigarettes are just as bad. But see, y'all, okay. If the weed not killing y'all, the motherfucking smoke t- to y'all lungs to inhale it is. Okay, I can I I can agree with that. The 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 blunt or the swisher, or the uh backwood or whatever you rolling in, yeah, that's doing it. Yeah. But shit, that just that's on you. However you uh dispose of your weed and smoke it. Yeah. So hey. why y'all just don't eat the weed? Huh? Eat the, weed. Don't eat the weed. Nah, I'm I not mean, I, that's only emergencies. I've been in the car with a nigga had to eat the weed. Shout out yeah. to my nigga, man. But <laughs> <laughs> that's a dangerous ass nigga I'm heard about. Nah, for real. But okay. Let me ask you this too, Kay. You never knock. You never knock nothing down high off of weed. He has no experience with weed. You never knocked. Like. You ain't never knocked a chick down. Nah. See, see, that's what I'm saying. Yeah. That's why you certain uh, shit's just enjoy. Uh, but comparing it to I, crack, you can't compare it to crack. We you ever took a low chip high? And crackheads are the same fucking thing. Y'all, first of all, y'all over here defending all, everybody in this room smoke weed but me. I'm, no, I'm, no, no, no. I'm a retired weed okay. smoker. I haven't smoked weed in five years. He's gonna find one up now. <laughs> real nigga. Hey, but no, but for real though, like you gotta understand, like niggas can't go days without it. Niggas can't do nothing without. It. Niggas can't have events without it. It's we'd rather not. It's not we can't do it. That's it's just we'd rather not. It's a dependency. Right. See, I'm about. All right, we we I'm gonna take it here. This this is what it is. This is what it is. It's not even just niggas and weed smoke, bro. <clears throat> I learned this now, not smoking weed. It's like I be feeling lame and I be feeling like I be really missing out on, on, on some of the chicks I could be pulling because I don't smoke weed because that's what every chick do now and want to do. And that's what's going to lead you to the promised land. He talked to because me about, he like he to me about a lot. Because <laughs> you a dependent. Not me. You, I'm throwing the What's the rest book back here. You a baby. You're talking to somebody who don't smoke weed, though. I know. I know he don't. Yeah. But he know if he did. He where well, he think that if he did, he'll have a certain advantage. I missed out on a surplus of pussy not smoking weed. I, I, it's a it's a twenty five de- uh, percent de- decrease in my stats. Smoking that blunt with the female in the bed after you get done doing what you're doing, that's one of the best feelings in the world. And you still ain't you ain't you ain't even. I want you to experience one of these things and then come back with them same facts. I, I'm not. I'm, I, I can't your, knock the fear or take your, a road your, trip. Your girl's from or Hawaii. Just do anything. Huh? Your girl from the West Coast. She don't know. No. Wow, that's surprising. But but I'm saying I'm I, I'm not locking the feeling. I'm not locking the experience. But what I'm saying is, y'all are glued to the shit. Niggas can't just up and stop it's smoking weed. Effect, it's, it's not the same effect. Some people are like, crack. Right. But y'all won't. And that's the dependency. We right will, there. but why? But why though? <laughs> but why? Because you can't. Bro, <laughs> no, I, I do. I do smoke every day, but there's been days I haven't. I've been just fine. I mean, I've been just fine. I was, not at all. So if a blunt would have came across on one of them days you didn't have, you wouldn't have hit that blunt. I would have hit that blunt. Okay, dependency. No. No, that's, 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 that's not dependent. Joke. I'm not dependent on it. I'm just but shit. Is dead broke. Yeah, I was yeah, gonna bring I'm that not, up. I'm not, I'm not, not arguing none of that. We used to get so easily purchased. But what did I tell y'all? The number one comparison was deny you. Crackheads deny that they're crackheads. <laughs> uh, alcoholics deny that they're alcoholics. Uh, they alcoholics. And we heads deny that they fucking we heads. Bro, when because all right, we all niggas. Niggas, the, you know, you've seen crack, like, bro. A weed head and a crackhead, like bro, you seen some crackheads, bro. I seen some weed heads. Not strong out, not strong out like bro, some crackheads you seen. Come on, talking about. <laughs> look at the not that bad. Look yeah, at the yeah. depictions of look at the depictions <laughs> of crackheads. <laughs> look at the depictions of crackheads in movies, bro. From Menace to Society, that nigga was gonna suck a dick for or for some crack. And then motherfucking Pookie, he he was on some weird. My shit nigga, too. you don't think they got niggas smoking with each other so they can fuck? 
Bro, how, I, how many of them down low niggas smoke with each other and try to fuck another nigga? I would hope not. See, that's probably going. That's that's some other shit. They, they, no some, other shit. That's hopefully that's not. No, hopefully that's not some for, over some weed. Yeah, they they nigga, smoke. They that, get they get on down. Yeah, yeah, they wilding. <laughs> they wilding. They I be pulling niggas out the closet left and right on my shoulder. Bro. I don't nigga, feel like weed feel, is the common motherfucker. <laughs> now nah, we going to the promised land. If, if I you, smoke, we going to the promised land. Yeah, and you don't drink either, huh? Me? Yeah, I ain't big on it. Uh, I respect. So, you. so you saying uh, so is is Kanye wilding because he's smoking weed or is because he's not smoking weed? Kanye? Yeah. Kanye, why weed ain't got shit to do with Kanye? Why he needs to smoke weed? He no, he out. don't. He needs to chill out. He become a dependent on the weed. Uh, what you say? Now for medical uses. Yeah, yeah, I'm with that. But like even. But see, all right, you you can look at the um the what, what you call it shit the uh, CBD. Now not the CBD. I'm talking about the uh, the drugs they give you. Now the, the pills. Uh, the, the opioids. Mm-hmm. Opioids here, people. And that shit that that got shit in it to where it's making people addicted to it. Yeah. Yeah. I don't. Uh, I so, never... so does we have a mental strain on y'all a more strain. than uh, addiction? Nah, no. No. I mean, I do feel like it's like a it's some shit you gotta do. Like no, it's no, it's not something I gotta do. It's just something I would rather do yeah. to ease my mind to get me into. See, the, the, listen, the, listen. That they go to dependency to what to ease my mind. He thinking that he if he can't smoke the weed, no, his mind no. will not be eased. No, that's my mind is fine. Not saying that it's not to be eased, but if I smoke, it'll make it much better. Crack wood too. <laughs> no. <laughs> Nah. I think about like the black community, bro. Like, we be going through shit, my nigga. Like, mm-hmm. It's a, and niggas, 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 niggas that watch motherfuckers get shot, killed. You know what I'm saying? Whatever. Like, it's like y'all depending on weed to get over that. I get it. Okay. Nah. <laughs> nah. <laughs> nah. <laughs> Some niggas need that just escape, man. Like, man, you know what I'm saying? You go mm-hmm. Y'all sounded like I'm, I'm telling y'all, bro. Like when mm-hmm. niggas everybody, came everybody from, got their vices. Like when they get out work, they don't get the work. Wine, yeah, right. That's yeah. it's relaxing. Okay, <laughs> all right, y'all got it, bro. We had one. <laughs> <laughs> thank you, thank you, thank okay, you, thank you. <laughs> yeah, crack, crack, crack was crack was a strong comparison. Yeah, I mean personally, man, I I think that you know weed makes a lot of things better, makes for a lot of good music. So to bring it back to the Super Bowl shit, that's why like. That shit was epic because if Snoop wasn't high and didn't smoke, it's like he wouldn't even been able to hit his crip walk that hard and do what he did. Like that shit was lit. Yeah. Motherfucking because his crip walk is dependent on the weed. It could it could enhance it. It could it could help things, you know what I'm saying? Like I don't want to see Snoop go on no show sober, do no show snow sober. So, I don't want to so, see that. So, so can we agree that all these years Snoop has been before us, he has never been himself. Because y- y'all saying he turned into a Super Saiyan when he get high. No, 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 no. no he transformed. It's not Super Saiyan. It's just, it's just, it's you unlock different parts of your brain and different, <clears throat> different zones, bro. Like it's just you unlock different levels sometimes. Okay, so I can I can make this argument with Snoop that that the weed might have killed his motherfucking career because yeah. no, 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 no. Listen, check this out because I'm t- well his music career because at the certain at, at the Certain point, you could tell his brain cells were dead because this nigga would never be on fucking beat. Am I lying? Nah, that's cap. Have you not heard his uh, reggae? No, man, we was just talking about Snoop Lion. Ain't nobody listening to Snoop Lion. Did you hear the gospel? Did you hear the gospel? What? I didn't even listen to Kanye gospel album. I'm definitely not hearing. I didn't hear no Snoop Lion. So when it comes to Snoop, I can't. I, I I hear what you're saying. You, you probably tuned out as a Snoop Dogg fan compared, like now compared to at times. But Snoop Dogg is continuously reinventing himself, with like different, like even through the times, like from the Chronic era to like holding his own in Death Row. Then when he linked up with Master P, you know, saying down for my niggas and shit like that. To when he links up with Pharrell, like bro, the nigga done 
just like he really like one of them athletes that played in multiple decades, like on some Vince mm-hmm. Carter shit, like yeah. high the whole time, high, high, high the whole high. time, yeah, off of that good shit, that chronic. Za before Za. That's one person I want to smoke with. I would like to smoke with. I feel like the weed he's smoking isn't normal. Yeah. I feel like it's do we got his own strain? Yeah, it's 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 premature crack. Huh? (laughs) Okay. Let's that the the shit Snoop smoking the moon rock with the with the oils and shit. Come on, man. That shit different. That shit ain't from the earth. I feel like him currency versus they yeah, mm-hmm. like, yeah. That shit. They smoking moon rock. That shit not even from the planet. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like damn. Lil Wayne, I think Wiz. Wiz smoked the biggest though. Yeah, Wiz is definitely probably the the biggest smoker. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I think he. Uh, it, I think he probably outsmoked Snoop. I think he said that before, though. But I'm like, yeah, Wiz, like, he literally nonstop smoking weed, bro. What? Why do y'all like smoke so much? Like, if it, if it, okay, like, if like my boy A One over there, he smoked to ease his mind, right? Mm. How many do you have to smoke to ease your mind? One blunt. Yeah, for I'll... about one blunt for about half a day, maybe. I don't know. I smoke so about two, three. The whole throughout the whole day. Yeah, I'm a firm believer. Like from even when niggas used to smoke weed, like I never really believed in like okay, fat ass thumb wood, <clears throat> keep smoking, keep smoking, get higher and higher. Like nah, bro. Once you high, you high. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So mm-hmm. you when you hit keep hitting the blood, you no, don't get higher. No, you no you can you can bounce around, but I'm saying once you already in the air, like I'm 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 where I need to be. Mm-hmm. Right. Prior to you know going in, uh huh. At the end of the day, I got another big ass blunt. Every two three days, I'm gonna smoke, eat, shower, sleep. See, yeah, with a job, roll that blunt in the morning. I'll hit that hoe about three four times. Yeah. Go into work feeling not even high, just on a little, little, little wave. And but see, that's the thing. Like y'all doing something that can directly, huh? Call, y'all doing something that that can directly cause y'all to lose y'all job. A lot of people do a lot of things to lose that that can lose their job. You, you, you never you never showed up late to work. Yeah, you never took a longer break. I get that. Come I get on, that. Bro. But I'm saying though, like you, this one thing that you can avoid, along with being late and goddamn me other shit. But mm-hmm. weed is something that you di- can directly avoid. But you putting your whole livelihood on the line to be high. When you looking at it, when you looking at that, it sound it sound crazy, but it's it really not. Crazy. Nah. It do sound crazy, but it's not. It's not it's on that level. It's not. It. It's not. It's not. I can't work. See that we talked about that before you got here. I ain't trying to smoke and then about that to go and, you know, the warehouse uh-huh. and work or some shit. You know what I'm saying? See, like, whatever. You uh-huh. know what I'm saying? So, me, I mainly smoke, like, you know, at the end of the, end day, of the day. When I'm done, you know, working, when I'm done training, everybody. I gotta but still, though, right. like, you know, if they call you for the drug test, if they call you for the drug test, uh-huh. you had to go take it. Yeah, I, so yeah. I cheated through, the, I mean, before I got the before I got the job, yes. I cheated to get the job. So I'm ready to do that. I'm ready for a drug test. How test. much of a hassle is that? To go so find somebody with some with some with some crazy. I ain't pee. gotta find nobody. Oh, you gotta drink this the shit. They gonna have you have itching all night. <laughs> <laughs> I'm saying too much. I'm saying too much. <laughs> oh, you, dude, <laughs> you're acting like you're acting like fools go to work. Like high and be on so hey nigga I'm high at work like nah niggas in their own world they don't like nigga, it, me, but uh and yeah, other, niggas, other, other people be going bro and I'm about to say this you be surprised how many of your managers is high and you don't even know it. pills and shit I get it. And shit. Them niggas, them high. niggas just as crazy for putting their livelihood on the line. They're I think high. that's more extreme when they start doing the other shit before you know, the pills. Oh. Now, y'all just bro, it's the same shit. Listen. They testing for cocaine. Yeah. They testing for motherfucking crack. They testing for weed. Okay. They label all of these drugs. All of these you can lose your job for. Okay. It, there's no difference. So you telling me that people will risk their livelihood for a uh, thirty, uh, half a day high? I mean, when it come to, but like I said, when it come to weed, weed is something that's gonna stay in your system for thirty days. Weed is something that's gonna stay in your system for thirty days, forty days, however long. The other shit get out get out of your system in a few days. So what I'm trying to say is, shit, if you smoking on that one day where they call you in to take that drug test, shit, you came on that job from the get 
with weed in your lungs. Yeah. That's what I'm trying to get to. But you're going to risk it out. It, it's already been a risk from day one. It's two thousand. When they hired me and y'all yeah. don't find that crazy. <laughs> but you, so <laughs> my situation, if you don't smoke, you don't never have to get ready. But I will say this. <laughs> when, Stay ready. Yeah. And don't get twisted. I'll be high off life. I love life sober and <clears throat> not smoking weed. But I'll say this, man. You're missing out sometimes not being high. Like, I, nah, I get it. Life is pretty cool high. I told you I, can't, I can't knock the experience. Like, they tell me I should do an aphrodisiac. Like, yeah. pop a, a shroom or something. Mm-hmm. See, I never did that shit, but yeah, it, that's never natural. Did. I also. never did one. They say, they, they say, they say this shit crazy. Uh-uh. Nah. I never done that. Bro, I've been with people that have, and they—they they was living. Bro, y'all gotta do yeah. Yeah, y'all already nah. cracking. Nah, nah, nah. <laughs> <laughs> I can't agree with it, bro. Everybody has they shits, especially culture. So we started this shit talking about game band culture, Snoop Dogg. Yeah. Then that's how it leads to weed. I'm not saying us as niggas and black people, the weed is our thing, but I, I'll say. You know, that's we got two. We got you just compared the the yin and the yang. Uh-huh. We got weed, that's our shit, and then I ain't gonna lie, crack we that's our shit too, uh-huh. unfortunately. But I'm like, bro, nigga, shout out to my Mexican niggas. You know how much them like them niggas like like, like coke, coke is part of their budget. Yeah, no, not for real. I stayed on the west coast. Cocaine is normal as marijuana. Yeah. Coke is part of their budget. Yeah, like a nigga will ask you, hey bro, you wanna hit this? You wanna hit a line? Like on you the, talking on about so- niggas or just in general? Anybody, bro. They ask oh, yo yo girl that shit like hey you want to hit this dirty dollar uh-huh. <laughs> like they like that's what they ask you is that normal crazy. on the west coast but mm-hmm. like down south bro you ask niggas for some cocaine nigga it's nigga you man you yeah, yeah you, it's, it's you like you ask your niggas on some on some gay shit like they look at you they look at cocaine like gay shit it's like next door to that shit yeah but my essays they be on that shit heavy they got it boy more than they got some weed on them. I promise you <laughs> not for real niggas can't get you no weed but uh, but and you need some coke. Who does coke, bro? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but shout out my essays, though. Nah, for real. Shout out, sir, man. Uh, I, me personally, I, I did with dabble in the weed, and the thing is, like, bro, like I was always one of them type. This nigga knows because we grew up. I was really late on the shit. Wasn't until <clears> niggas <throat> got to college and you living free, and that's when nigga, you know, really started smoking weed. Like, okay, cool, I fuck with this, but I, I never really been one to like consume shit. I like, I was always cool. Being sober and shit, but at the same time, like I said, see a nigga, you know what I'm saying? You might want to sip if you if you if you do drink alcohol or you might want to smoke weed because it's not about being dependent. It's on some bro. I've seen the other side. The other side it, it's greener sometimes. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Bro, have you ever got head from a chick while you smoking on a blunt? I never. It's, you miss out on a you lot miss of it out. It's, it's 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 really levels to this shit. It's just certain shit. Throat get a little deep, feel a little deeper. Boy. Then jump in the pussy, the pussy feel a little warmer. Yeah. Yeah, same here. <laughs> <laughs> same here. <laughs> that nigga 2K on some shit. I'm trying to see what I'm doing that. Right? <laughs> For real. Bro, this shit is, I don't know, it's just different strokes for different folks. But I will say, like, it's just certain things that are more enjoyable when you smoke weed. I'll, but I, I'm also, I ain't gonna act like I'm, I was ever weed guy, bro, because I, I don't think I've ever smoked weed on 420. So I, I, I'm for sure not like an official stoner because that's like the day you should smoke weed. But I never. I've even, been with a few people. A few times where they really rolling up on 420 it's the whole day, real holiday dedicated shit. to this. So okay. now that sounds like some, some yeah, yeah, yeah. Now that yeah. Uh, that 420, yeah, I, I'll I'll agree with you. But other than that, shit. See, I, I personally, I didn't even really like smoking out of bowls and bongs, bro. Our bong was all right, but like like bowls and shit, I didn't like that because that shit made me feel like a crackhead. Shit, like even the one or two times a nigga ever tried to dab when I did smoke. That shit look crazy. You know what I'm saying? Like, no, that, I, I, that's I, me. no I, I, I smoke, I smoke out a bong, me. whatever. I smoke out a bong, whatever. He's just never like that. Smoking, yeah. Hey, no, I'll be smoking too. Hey, where I'm from, bro, hey, that, that, that look, you know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Wood, but my number one go to is the blunt. Yeah. The, 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 the diamond swishers. Yeah, big blunted. They say I'm an old school for that. I, people, I, some people, bit, bitches, niggas, they be looking at me crazy when I be pulling up with the swish. Oh, yeah. I'm at a, yeah. That shit just too experimental, man. Like it just yeah. It's I've just, been smoking for a minute, so I've tried it in a minute. First time I smoked was at an apple. Yeah. You hear me? That nigga old school. Yeah. <laughs> if you ain't smoked out of apple, then shit, I don't know. That's some old nigga shit. You know, I'm bringing this. 
don't get twisted. No, don't get twisted. I did. I did, but I didn't like the thought of it because I'm like, yeah, this shit looks like a fucking pipe, like a crack pipe and shit like that. That's how I used to feel. But if I had my preference, yeah, I'm gonna smoke a blunt or a joint. That was always <clears> my shit. And then plus, I ain't gonna lie, like I'm this shit therapeutic. When you get, I still roll blunts for my niggas and shit. I like to just roll up. Like that's part of the process too, nigga. You you get to like break the weed down play whatever music you listening to or be shooting the shit or say you got you a female that's you know it was finna go down like this is really like you getting into your game mode like yes yeah, you, like you like the female you like the female roll of your blunt i it, it it feels cool like on some like yeah my bitch is rolling up for me but like nah i got this because most time them hoes be loose as i said i got you just you ain't doing it right bitch. if she rolls a good blonde just be like yo who you been around oh you she, who you fuck who, who, who talk <laughs> You've been around for a minute. What's somebody I know? Yeah, she put oh, yeah, in the back. I don't know how to roll a back with a bitch. I don't know how to roll up a back with a bitch. Yeah, niggas. Yeah, that's I mean, I know red flag. Girls. Oh, yeah. Yeah, oh, yeah. Girl, like, about think of how many nigga calls she had to get in to perfect that bag wood. See, yeah. I'll be trying not to think about that. And then think about all the, 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 the free weed that, that they got and how they pertain this free weed. I'm not saying everybody, they all doing something for the, but niggas ain't just giving out free weed. They, they, they giving it out for intentions and shit. Back in the day, bitches used to always say, I got this weed for free. And oh yeah. They used to always say that back in the day. I'm Uh like, damn, now y'all was really on some other shit. The pussy was (laughs) was really on some other shit. (laughs) I came to the conclusion back when niggas was younger and I'm just going based off of my own experience. I'm like, yo, say like one of my homegirls that, that they used to finesse the shit for like, oh yeah, this one nigga, he fucks with me and he just be giving me weed. I'm like, Nah, and this nigga, he ain't just giving you. Yeah, the he, weed. he he feeling he just giving he, he feeling some ass or a titty or something. Yeah, like, they getting a feel for this weed. Something Man. nobody's just hint, bro. It's weed. This is collateral. Yeah, I'm not gonna give you this. So you never giving the bitch weed? For, I mean, yeah, weed for some pussy. I mean, this, this, this is raw and uncut. This was a past this life. Is, huh? This was a past life. I mean, and so I, here we break second comparison. Y'all just saying crackheads will suck dick for some uh for some crack, right? <laughs> We talking about bitches. We talking, we talking about, about bitches. bitches. We talking about bitches. God damn me, bitches was will fuck for some weed. I love the motherfucker. They will proudly. I um, y'all prove my case, man. I feel like anybody that sold weed done probably got the dick sucked from a bitch or fucked a bitch for for some weed or not even just for weed. Like you're not even handle. It's just about like shit. You just smoke. You just smoke with a chick and it's going down. Weed makes females horny. Niggas too. No, for sure, but it makes females <laughs> horny. It do. I feel like, yeah. It do. <laughs> Maybe on some what? F- freaky they shit. All friendly I used, all of a sudden. I used, no, I used yeah. to. I used, yeah. You be thinking like, all right, we just about to chill. Yeah, they, they start leaning work. on you and shit. Right. Yeah. That blunt be getting them going. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Like, right. yeah, it's, it's, That's why I'd rather have my chick smoke weed yeah. than drink. You'd rather have your chick smoke weed than drink? Yeah, because a bitch who be getting drunk, you can't, they be, you can't wow. trust them. Yeah, yeah, you can't trust them. Yeah, women women are wild drunks. Yeah. My girl get drunk and turn this bitch up. Yeah. Like, <laughs> like nigga, we'll turn this bitch up, dog. Mm-hmm. That's crazy. Like, I, you really don't come across too many just cool laid back girls and like cool drunks. They always turn. Bro, yeah, females, nah. yeah. they always but turn. The, the chill females, the cool females, like you want to kick it with smoke they weed. Already naturally, like, you know, yeah. Oh, yeah. Like, yeah. They mind start yeah, that chemical yeah, imbalance, having flashbacks yeah, yeah. and shit. Whatever happened to that bitch you were fucking in '98? Yeah, damn. <laughs> what, where did this come from? Yeah, bitch, I was in uh, second grade. What the fuck is you talking about? <laughs> so, all right, since so we're on the topic of females and women and shit, it kind of goes in some like partaking off camera conversations. But what about? How do you feel about like women and females like bullshitting and flaking? Like, is that just what comes with talking to a female? They're gonna all they're gonna flake off the rip for the first time. Yeah, but I don't give them a lot of chances to flake and shit because that's when you you wasn't interested from the get. Because if a female really fuck with you, she gonna give you that time. Yeah, yeah. no matter what. So if she flaking and all that shit, she either got another nigga, she ain't into you. So it's four downs. Are you saying like, she gonna she gonna play action and punt fake? All four downs away, or like nah, nah, hopefully you, only one. Yeah, now nah, you don't give it a chance to do that. No, time. no, yeah. that's what I'm saying. I, I'm not doing blitz. all. Send the blitz. No, nah, after that fucking first time you flake on me, it's dead. Because like 
I'm first of all, I'm not gonna go out of my way to cheat. Mm-hmm. So you really, this shit really have to perfectly align, and you gotta be on my lap. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So the minute you get to doing some flaky shit, this pussy was never for me, mm-hmm. and I can't miss nothing I ain't never had. I say that shit all the time. I all the all the chicks that done slipped through my hands, and I was like, oh shit, I would have could it. Can't be mad at something I never actually had. Exactly. I feel that you hit, that. but I ain't gonna lie, bro. I just feel like it's just, it's just almost like unwritten in the game where it's like that's just what chicks do. I'm not saying I got a every- short temper for it. See, I, I feel I like a short temper for that. See, you so cool. I feel like you will really get a hold of excuse for them. <laughs> Unfortunately, see, and that and that's the problem, bro. You gotta let your ho- let let that bitch know. Like, listen, hmm. you get don't give her a choice. Give her an ultimatum. Right. Listen, if you coming, come on. If mm-hmm. you not, lose my number. Mm-hmm. Damn, like bitch, I'm put like, and she gonna understand, like, okay, damn, this nigga know his worth. Yeah, but the minute you 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 get the excuse for her, oh, okay, cool, I'm for the go fuck this nigga tonight. Yep. Man. I fell asleep. I fell asleep. My my fault. Yeah. <laughs> man, nah. uh, bitch, nah. I seen your charge that whole stay <laughs> bent up. <laughs> that bitch was with you. <laughs> Ju- yeah, oh, yeah. <laughs> I think. Females be up just as late as niggas. I think they be up even they later. The hell yeah, bro. We used to have cell phones back in the day. It tell you if you was on the phone. So like it'll ring. You're like, <laughs> then they make this noise. Like, boop. Yep. Oh, if God. that bitch beat, they, 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 you on oh, the God. fucking phone. Oh, now. Uh-huh. I never forget. I yeah. called my bitch at three in the morning. Let me say, beep, I'm like, I'm gonna <laughs> so, <laughs> so, if they, so if they playing you off, is it more they just don't ain't trying to fuck with you or they on some other dick? They they probably it's doing dicks. They are always Definitely. on other dicks. Every time? Yeah. Bro, it's a non-stop scouting process for them. They are all they you gotta think yeah, there it's open tryouts for dick all the time for them. That's why I be that's why I be trying to tell my females they y'all can go outside and get dick whenever y'all want. Definitely. Yes. Literally whenever y'all want. They, they can go lock Ugly up. Yeah. The, like, you know, niggas can't. I tell them niggas can't get pussy in whenever we, whenever we want. That's if we why, just walk outside and just you can't. That's why you should always get the pussy when you when when it when it happens. I, I tell every nigga this right here. If you got a girl and you ain't cheating on her, you cheating yourself. <laughs> right yourself. there. If you're you not said, cheating on your girl, yeah. you cheating your fucking self. See, all right. I will say this. Me years ago. This nigga spitting. This nigga's preaching. Me right now, I'm on some goddamn 2K. This, this, this shit been getting me in trouble with all my hoes. This is why these hoes be flaking yeah, on me. Because yeah, they, yeah. they, they, you exposing the sauce. But I feel like if you can, you, 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 yeah, you definitely been exposed the sauce. <laughs> you definitely the been exposed the sauce. <laughs> but I feel like if you really getting the pussy at they, home, the pussy in head, you just greedy at that point, which I used to I'm be. Not. I used to be, when I was younger, I used to be. I could be getting everything at the house. I just want to get some new pussy just cuz. My nigga, no, it's I, nothing wrong. Bro, stop apologizing for being me. Let, let's just stop that. We put on this earth to conquer. Now, and it, knock it's not down. even that, nigga. We get horny when we see bitches. That's a fact. We get, but what, what if I see them bitches with my bitch? And I, I'm like, shit. I mean, yeah. I my mean, bitch pussy good? Stall out, Debo. <laughs> like, like, if, if that's the friend, I get it. All right. I get that shit. <laughs> But like nigga, if you being awful pussy from other bitches, dog, the only reason that you not taking it, you for to go against your whole biology, bi- biological makeup, your DNA, because you you worry about these bitch feelings. It's not even worried about the bitch feelings. W- what you worry about? I'm not worried about nothing. I'm just not trying to get in no other pussy when I got the pussy at home that's I, doing whatever whatever she doing. It is some. It is a little greed factor to it. Man. It is a greed. It's just a conquering factor. I'm, I'm telling you, like, yeah, that's what I'm saying. It's like you be having some solid chicks, man, and like it's it's perfect. Like you got chicks that's doing. The so when you fucking other the bitch, that means you don't love her, huh? No, it doesn't mean no, that. Not but at all. I'm, not at all. But not I'm saying, all. like, if I already got this chick who's like submissive, spoils me. Does some nasty ass shit behind the scenes. What else? What? Why? Why am I here over here with my fucking Rita who just gone? You know what I'm saying? And she just going to town on it. I'm just looking at her like, you know what? This shit cool, but I'm still gonna Somebody, go back. I, I feel like we playing a game that um we never was supposed to fucking be. All right, this whole monogamy shit. Hey, I love you. We together forever and nobody else. Talk your shit, King. That shit weak. 
And let's be totally fucking honest. Humans are terrible at the shit. Right. Every other country except for America is all about having uh what's it called? Poli- or multiple women and shit. Uh-huh. Uh, they, I don't like that shit neither. Cause what you, then what you want? No, you just so, want to cheat. He no, said no, he no, just, no. He, he, so, he likes the no, the, so polygamy is, ain't shit, but a uh, a bigger monogamous relationship. Yeah, so like you gotta think <laughs> it ain't nothing but a biggest monogamous relationship. Instead of got one bitch you committed to, you got two bitches you committed to. Really, how we supposed to be doing? We supposed to be like fucking dogs and animals. How they fuck and they go. Yeah. Yeah. Like that's the most natural purest form of living. Like they can't read no books. They they don't have opinions about each other. This is just how the shit go. So what so what's the point of having a female then? What you mean having a female? Like, what's the point of being in a relationship then? There's no point. So what you're saying is there's no point in uh no, you you just, you can find love in one chick, but like like we just said, every bitch you fuck, you don't love. You can yeah. fuck as many chicks as you want to, but you can only have love for one. Right. How many? Okay. So I was just I was kicking with my young niggas a couple of days ago. We were just shooting the shit. And I was just <clears> like, <throat> man, bro, if I could go back in time, I mean, I don't regret nothing. But at the same time, it's like, if I knew what I knew now, think about all the chicks that you knocked down, where it's like after you knocked them out, you're like, damn, why'd I do this? Or why am I here? Like, it don't even be, they don't even be worth it half the time. Only a few have gone through with that. Yeah, a lot of niggas haven't ran, haven't so don't, haven't dealt with a lot of females to where they can say, "Damn, why'd I do that?" Well, most yeah. niggas, yeah, for real. it don't I, be I worth it, it because it's like, like eating just to eat. I'm one of them people like nigga, you just be bored and you just eating food. Yeah, you but, bored, you just getting pussy. We've well, done that to a me. Lot. What don't be worth it is like <laughs> the switch up that come after the sex. All right, now this bitch <laughs> feeling entitled. Now she want to claim me when before we fucked, it want none of that. Like yeah. that what don't be worth it, but the put. Yeah, but the pussy that you was getting, that shit was cool. But we, we I think, <clears throat> correct me if I'm wrong, I feel like we talking about just the one night hit it and go. Oh, no, yeah, that, that I don't really subscribe to the meaning of this sex. Yeah, it's yeah been, like I ain't no big one night stand. So the every female, so you would rather have a, yeah, so you would rather have a feeling intimate. With I, I'd in, rather have a vibe. Yeah. Like a, a, a certain connection, it don't have to be feelings. Like just something like that's solid. That's that's more than uh, just pussy. Eventually, it'll get that though. Yeah, but like, but you can right. get that feeling. You can get that that pussy with a vibe before the feelings. Yeah, but, but you just said, that. but you just said earlier about the uh, it should be just like the fucking in dogs and cats and shit. It, it should be. So how's that? That how's that the same as? I mean, you gotta find an attractive first. Of course. All right. So when you got it, when it's their attraction, that's down there, a uh, vibe that stay next door to that. Yeah, but we've all dealt with some shit that we wasn't so much attracted to. It was a nut. Yeah, yeah. I feel like we've all done that. Yeah. Nah, for shit, show. Post nut clarity to do it to you. Yeah, shit, real man. Yeah, that's, Ooh, that's, that's, that's woo. Real. But even with the one night stand shit, that's just more like on some like you know that that's like a that's like a trial. It's like. In the off season, when niggas like run into each other at the LA Fitness and they they run a pickup game and be like, "Damn, nigga, we should we should try to make a play and get each other on the same team type shit." That's kind of what the one night stand is, where it's like, "Damn, nigga, I, I kind of like your game. We should we should do this again." Maybe, yeah. and the, so it kind of leads into like, you know, potential futures and shit like that. That the the one night stand is it's, it's really a, a interview. That's a, that's really an interview, and you got. I'm not about, saying don't get into, uh, don't give it up the first night. I'm not. That's what I'm saying. But I'm not saying that. Yeah. But I'm saying like if you do, we don't it, condone it. It's on some like okay, well, this is just the route that you want to take your interview. Some people take their interviews very <clears throat> serious. Would you date a female you fucked the first night? I have. I have. I don't either. I, I, you do. I, I respect. Yeah. Some yeah. some of my yeah. niggas. You you don't don't get mad at her for giving you the pussy first night. Be happy at you. That you had the ability to get it. Right, right, right. Yeah. This nigga spitting. No, that's it's exactly right. what it is. And I've been the type to, I have dated a few females that I've smashed the first night, but I've had some of my niggas look at me crazy like, that don't that don't sound right. What? Why no. she give you the, why she? He just lacked the ability to get the pussy the first night. Right, right, right. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> uh, <laughs> right, see. Yeah, What's the difference between mm-hmm. fucking on the first day and the 31st? Exactly. Shit. Exactly. Cause I feel like all all women and females they already like mentally are they know I'm either not fitting to come up off this or there's 
let, uh, let me keep this in the back pocket in case I might want to like let up off this for the night. So it's like that really that that first night, it really is all off of like you like, damn, nigga was that on point. Like you really hit all your shots at all your points on the mm -hmm. court. Like mm -hmm. nigga was just a one. It's like perfect, a perfect game. Triple nigga. double. Yeah. <laughs> triple double. No, no misses. Nigga. No turnovers. Yeah, No nothing. Oh, God. Mm -hmm. Like. So yeah, sure do yeah. I, I ain't gonna lie. So I'm gonna I'll, I'll take pride in the one night stands because you know the one night stands. So those be the most like spontaneous shits. You gotta think it's one night stands are never really planned. Mm -hmm. Like you know, as a nigga, you gonna go into a hopeful like yeah, shit, shit, nigga. Maybe I might get some pussy or something. You know how my mindset of like I'm I'm not even thinking about it. I'll I'll, I'll hold off on a chick, but if she's throwing it or she's like letting it be known, like yeah, I'm on that. And females gonna give you that sign. That's the greatest feeling ever when a chick lets you know like. Yeah, like I want it. Like mm -hmm. what? Like that's when a nigga kick his feet up. Like yeah, we. we and they are yeah. gonna give you that sign within an hour, or two hours of y'all kicking or at your, the restaurant or whatever. Yeah, a couple, a couple laughs, and and the laughs gotta like stretch out for a certain pattern of time. It can't but, just be a little giggle. Like, but don't get it twisted. You gonna know if female ain't feeling you. Boy, the first time y'all meet, you gonna you gonna know if she ain't. Yeah, feeling you 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 can literally feel it in your body. Uh, no, for real. Yeah, like when she's trying to give you some pussy, like. Cause the chemistry, bro, it's like I don't know what it is, but uh -huh. it, you can feel it, bro. Like damn, like you'll get horny. You, you like do. she want to give me some pussy. You can feel it. It's like a movie on some shit, dead uh -huh. ass. Like but you be looking at the bitch, and like she be looking at you, like damn, like that's in your the best mind, feeling. Like, knowing I'm oh, about to get shit. this. Oh, God, I'm about nigga. to get this. But at the same time, you play it coolly. You play out the rest of the night, and that's you knowing hey, the balls in your court the whole time. Nah, yeah. for real. Once I get that feeling, I'm, I'm, I'm thinking I'm for the kid this pussy. Mm -hmm. <laughs> You're for the mm -hmm. go crazy, boy. <laughs> 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 That's happened to me a few times. Fuck. <laughs> oh shit. That nah, it, it, it happens to the best of us, but I ain't gonna lie, like it kind of goes back to what we said in previous episodes where it's like, man, I, I sometimes I understand the moment. I understand, you know, this is a uh this is what is it a uh, win or go home type of game. So I I'm here to perform. I'm going out like Braun. Gotcha. So if my team loses, yo, that's on them, but I'm gonna make sure I do everything for mm -hmm. us to contribute. Yeah. I'm gonna I'm, put a 50. I'm leaving it all on flow. That oh. the first two times. But you're gonna get the best you ever had from me. Got that you. first night I'm staying throughout the whole night. We fucking multiple times. If you the first night I'm with the bitch, I'm staying. We we fucking. Yeah. It ain't no one time thing. We fucking. Nah, man. At least I'm changing your whole mindset on whatever nigga was in, in the previous to yeah. anything. See, the like, first night I'm putting my foot down. <laughs> Got to. I ain't trying to outperform ghosts. Like niggas that because like no, 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 I'm not, I'm not, I'm not saying that. I'm just saying you gonna remember me. Yeah, definitely. And that, that's your thing. Cause see, females remember niggas for different reasons. Right, right. Mm -hmm. Oh, this right. nigga had the best head. Oh, he he did. He they they literally got a favorite nigga for every per position. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, this nigga hit it from the back the best. Uh -huh. This nigga did it like this the best. Uh -huh. So, like, yeah, you, you don't even really gotta put the best sex on <laughs> this bitch. No, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's, it's, it's like the NBA, like. <laughs> nigga, you you trying to get best rebound? Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, I, I got the most assists. Right. Yeah, you know, I put up the most points. Like, it don't matter. Bro. You're saying it's like those Instagram music pop up on the on the explore page where it's like a football player and it's like, yo, this would be the perfect uh, quarterback. Uh -huh. It'll uh, Drew Brees accuracy, Tom Brady clutch this tail. Yeah. That like that's what they're doing. Like, okay, this nigga's doggy style. This nigga's this that. Like, yeah, yeah. yeah I don't want to be. But don't yeah. be one of her best do boys. Like her best what do boys. I'm like so, she got you in the phone, say it on the DoorDash and shit. Oh yeah, now nah, we not going out for DoorDash. Door, like as in you bring the bitch shit and all that? No. Yeah. Oh in, no. No, it's just like yeah, like yeah. She on the call you for food. Oh yeah. no, you the best nigga for that. Bitch, I've never been, been that. that. I've never I can, no spot never. Too. I can speak highly. I've never been that. <laughs> I can't be never that. been that. That's what I'm saying. Real niggas know how to how collateral works, bro. So it's like one niggas aren't ever. I know niggas be talking all this shit and we've been influenced by, uh, you know, man, I know I had rooster, you know, the ways, yeah. the ism, but you know, we got to give a little bit to get some, but in the, in the grand scheme of like a chase going to come up off of more shit or Way like more, you know, than what niggas are. Niggas are just going to do what's expected. You don't ever have to do more. Or a little, this is what expected. Maybe a little. Yeah. Sometime. Just a little something. Cause guess what? The rest of the niggas ain't even doing nothing. Right. Right. But yeah, female's gonna come up off everything, so she's she's DoorDash. I'm I'm more concerned why the other niggas ain't doing nothing, and I and I and I am to get the pussy. 
You know what? That's a great question, bro. Cause I, I I be I be I be mind blown sometimes. I I think about that shit sometimes, especially with some of the chicks that I do really want and I really be like kind of like full court pressing, trying to like really get. Yeah. But it be like on some like damn, there's some nigga that. See, I, I respect that. I, I respect, respect it. I wish I, I, I wish a nigga was built like that could yeah. get on that because I would because that's that saves yourself a lot of time. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I like the thriller. I like I feel you on that. I like the thriller. I work for this pussy type shit. Like, yeah, I make my I, I work my way into this. So I feel you. But some niggas don't like like a nigga like me. I be more likely to pay for pussy because. I don't want no strings attached. Yeah. <laughs> like, hey, I got a situation already. Here goes some money. I need this. I want been wanting to fuck you. Fuck, and I'm done with you. Like, you can tell female that and not pay. And some, some will still fuck just yes. off, just off of your vibe. Have you ever, bro? Think about how many chicks. Th- I, I know personally, like, there's chicks that really do be on some, like, yeah, I'm, I just, I'm just trying to fuck, or I just like fucking you type shit, and it, that'd be like, damn, save yourself all that. You know what I'm saying? Extra thinking and mm-hmm. effort. And that goes back, damn, I could have just kept it real with the bitch from the get. From the get. Yeah. From the get. Keep it, <laughs> keeping it real, I always don't go fucking right. Cause I, I don't know what the fuck it is about keeping it real, but once a bitch get in her feelings, she forget every every real fucking thing you told her. You are right, but You're at right. the same time, you don't feel, you don't have the, the, the high blood pressure of trying to uh, what's the word? Uh, finagle your way into the pussy yeah. by lying. Yeah, because yeah. you got it. If yeah. you keep it real from the get and the bitch is still on go, shit, if she goes sour in the end, that's her fault. You knew. But you she, knew. But like, cuz, like, I'd have been caught cheating before in other relationships and shit. Yeah. When the bitch will come to my bitch, she'll tell the bitch that she ain't no shit about her. When I know she lying, like, yeah. she knew every fucking thing. Right. Yeah. It's a and that's game. the shit that really be, yeah, like, that's the shit that really be pissing me off like that. Like, you kept it real from the jump. Mm-hmm. But she gonna tell your girl a lie, and your girl gonna believe her. Uh huh. Uh huh. It's a dirty game. She wanna be number one. She wanna be your girl. Yeah. Why? Cause I tell her something to make her feel. I've seen a lot of women get tricked out they spot by side bitches. Like the side bitch go over. There, yeah, he been fucking with me. They break up, mm-hmm. and she move in, like move the nigga in. Type yeah. Shit. Yo, like nah. you got tricked that's your spot. Mm, mm, mm. Nah, it's yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Yeah, man, shit. It does happen. I mean, it's like some Nick Foles, Carson Wentz shit. You know what I'm saying? She's really supposed to be the backup, but, it, you know what I'm saying, if you slip up, you can get your spot taken, and she might take us to the Super Bowl and win us that one ring. Yeah. And you're going to be on the sideline looking stupid. Super, and super then you're getting stupid. traded. Woo! And then you get traded. Woo! That ain't going to never win a Super Bowl. No. Yeah. On a trash ass team, on you trash ass team. <laughs> hey, you over there like thinking, uh, yeah, happy. Like, Trick that so spot. Oh god, but you were playing for a Hall of Fame franchise. You feel me? Now she's at the. Like, she's like, damn, this facility ain't even like the other facility. Nope, the, nope. They trainers, they, yeah, everything ain't shit, the same. Shit different over here. And she know. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> it's really a culture over here. For real, nah, man. But I, I, I firmly believe that. Also, like, I don't think like not all women, but a lot of females like. They're so I don't want to use, just use the basic word toxic, but you know what I'm saying we in the house of future. So like uh, you know, a lot of chicks are toxic and don't really know what they want. They want this, they want that, they want a little bit of everything. So their mind be like everywhere. Like I feel like we both toxic, male and female. Of course, yeah, we I are. Like we but both. women are way way more, bro. Like what you mean? Think about it. So I, I brought up Kanye shit earlier because like look at how Kanye's been acting. I'm not saying my nigga not wilding. My nigga he wilding. he's wilding me fuck out. He wilding, but. That's his, pussy time, <laughs> that's his pussy, though. That's his pussy. At the same time, is that not what females always act like they want? Oh yeah, you got, I, I, I you got to be head over heels for me. You got to go crazy for me, dude. And that, but yeah. now, but then once the niggas start doing it, now it's like oh, you need to chill, dude. Kim, but Kim know what she's doing. They're they gonna end up back together. Mark Toxic. my words. That's that's the, and that's the results of to- toxicity. Okay, so I see where you come from. Yeah. Females do females do like that toxic shit. Yeah, but like, I feel like some niggas, I do. I can, I, I like that. I, I want a bitch to show me that she really fucking with me. like do some crazy shit to show me like I don't know. Nah, you right. I like that shit. It's just it's just levels to the crazy. It's levels, hundred percent. It's levels to the but crazy. You got to show me other than words or I don't know. You got to get mad at me. I don't know. I like that crazy shit. 
Yeah, I, I'm, you gotta get you gotta give like an example. Like I don't want to go too and I don't know. Uh, for me, like say it it would be like all right, get into it, and then it's like all right, we had some shit planned, but it's like all right, now nah, fuck that nigga on some other shit. But she pulled, she still pulled up on, to the crib. Like she still pulled up on me. Okay, yeah. It's like you're you bitch, you're crazy. Yeah, no, I like that shit. That's, we that's get I like that. Yeah, it's just like that. We get in an argument. We can cuss at each other, bitches, hoes, da 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 da. But by the end of the night, dick is in your stomach. <laughs> <laughs> dick is in the stomach, and we cuddled up watching Netflix like we wasn't just arguing five hours ago. Like niggas, shit, like that. I like, like that. Like nobody just said niggas ain't shit. Bitch, niggas you ain't, ain't shit, shit. Bitch, you ain't shit. All that. Yeah. In the night, we watch Netflix. Give me an example of some toxic shit you done been done. Like what's some shit that you you fuck with on your toxic levels? Two K. On the toxic shit I done done. Or, or or has been done with some shit that you like. This is like, yo, this is the toxicity that I approve. <laughs> Prove it out. Um, <laughs> I'm with all the bullshit. Like, literally, like if, if you let me do it, I do it. <laughs> like, goddamn me, if I see you happy online with your boyfriend, I text you. Like, I text your nigga, or I I get on your Instagram and be like, uh, I love you, babe. Or I'll be like, damn, uh, you coming back over here again tonight? And then bitch, the bitch get <laughs> the bitch get mad at him and say, "Why you do that? And why you try to get me in trouble?" But she still come over and get dick. Yeah. Definitely, yeah, <laughs> yeah. Definitely. I love you. I Damn. do. Nah, that's shit real. I ain't gonna lie. That's dangerous. It's a dangerous game nowadays because niggas will kill you over that bitch now. Yeah, but, I'm, not, I'm not trying to get killed, but I apologize to the dude that probably doesn't know, but he he's with a chick that I used to fuck with. Like they're happily ever after. But yeah, I think what was it February 13th night before Valentine's? Yeah, I think I slid up like late night type shit, just trying to. See if I could, yeah. You know, what I'm saying she nibbled on shit, but she didn't. I didn't. I didn't hook her. But it, why are you the, responding to me? That'd be the you worst time. That the the worst be the ones that you fuck and you be see you be seeing them on Valentine's Day all happy and shit. Yeah, that's that's all I was thinking. I'm like, huh. little does he know she was sending me kissy face emojis. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And I know that sounds like ah oh, emojis, Charles. No, if you're in a relationship, you shouldn't don't don't send no emojis. Don't respond. Don't even respond. But let alone an, uh, adding an emoji to a conversation. That's flirtatious. Yeah, add an emoji to a conversation is you you did some overthinking. Yeah. You did some more thinking just texting. Yeah, like you're you're really into this. Right, right. Yeah, that shit crazy. Shout out to my emoji bitches. Shout out to the emoji bitches. <laughs> <laughs> no, I, I fuck with emojis. That shit, that shit does turn the car. Like, I ain't gonna lie, she's sending emojis, my, my reply is gonna be quicker. Yeah. Yeah, like what's uh do niggas believe in like do niggas have like times that they reply, like time limits? Like, all right, I ain't gonna reply like for a minute, five minutes, ten minutes after if I'm, every text. If shit. I'm horny, we talking some like nasty shit. I'm back to back <laughs> replying, replying. But if it's a female that it's a bad bitch on Instagram or something that you're trying to just shoot at, I'm gonna respond every ten to thirty minutes. That's respectful. so I'm not gonna respond quick, but I'm gonna wait about ten to thirty minutes. I respect you because you know and what? it all depends on what she responds, how she responds. Because if you respond as super fast. Like they're gonna get the win. They're gonna be like, oh, that's that's he's really into me. But then after a couple of them fast sex, they're gonna be like, damn, nigga, he ain't got shit else to do. Yeah, like thirsty. This, nigga, ass, this nigga. thirsty ass over me, damn. Shit, crazy. You what about you two guys? You be on some time limit shit with your replies? No, I just reply right back. <laughs> <laughs> like, I get the bitch over here quicker and fucking get out of the way. Like, this nigga, wow. I do. Boy. I reply this back. Like, wild, it, I'm not waiting because I fuck around and forget. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> you telling the wrong nigga to wait five minutes uh, to text you because I will forget. See, I nah. Text I'm giving. I'm giving a uh, uh, Rico secrets, but shit, I'll wait. Yeah, I'll see that text. No, I'll wait just for some fact. No, nah, bitch, you ain't about to have me thinking. No, I'm jumping for you every time. But nah, wait for a little bit. Text the bitch. The sooner, the soon as I start like checking my phone, I already get sick of myself because like that's the complete opposite of what We've I. We've all on. did it. We've but all once did you it. Start checking them over. That's when you realize, oh shit, I was trying to reel her in, but now she really got me hooked. That's why a nigga got to catch himself because as soon as you're in the palm of a female's hands, that's when they got you and it's over. No chick wants you to really be in the palm of their hands. That's why you can never let them know that you in their palm of their hand. Never. Never. It's like kids with toys. It's like, they, you know, they say they want this toy and shit. And as mm-hmm. soon as they get that toy, they play with it for a second. They be like, all right, that's cool. I want the new one. All right, I want this. I want that. Yeah, bro, that's- it's, so, it's okay to be that, bro. Like- it's okay to be... In yeah. the fem- in the palm of females hand, yeah, Cal. why? Because no, I'm dead ass. Like it's okay to show a chick how much you like her, bro. No, and I, then that's different. But because the second I leave you, 
like it's it's super over. Like you ain't getting that back. So like I'm I'm gonna give you all of me while I'm right here. Yeah. I'm not gonna lie. I'm I'm gonna text back fast. I'm gonna do everything I want to. But when I snatch it from you, it's gonna hurt way worse. Right. Now when I'm texting you every third back every thirty minutes, right. you know you ain't shit. Yeah. So it, don't be scared. Don't be scared to be yourself. I I, I agree with you. Cause if if she my female, I'm gonna text. I ain't doing that waiting shit. Nah, we it's you my female. We just discussing shit. But I'm talking about in a palm palm her hand to where. Okay. See, you really burning yourself though, bro. Cause like, all right, you waiting five to ten minutes to text her back. Okay. Not so, my my not my man. Oh no no, I'm, I'm talking about energy. Oh okay okay okay. So you waiting five ten minutes to text her back? Let's say y'all get into an argument. You really want her to feel you. All right. Well, now you waiting five ten minutes. Well, nah, this normal. See, there's levels. There's levels to this shit. If we get in an <laughs> argument or something, yeah, I'm. A, I'm gonna pop off quick again. But I'm just saying, in the simple mean of things, of uh, just talking or how is your day type shit. Yeah, I'm about to just, just bomb, 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 yeah. bomb. Text every every two minutes now. But if we in an argument, yeah, you gonna hear my response quick. Is it a? Should there be a limit in, in the response to see? I I talk a lot in person. Like I'm very like detailed when I talk. So my text end up being like that. I don't be trying to send paragraphs, yeah. but I send fucking paragraphs. Now, I, think that, I think that'll get you in trouble. That's what I'm saying. I don't even be trying, but it's like I'm over here just talking how I would normally and, talk. And that's why I like talking on the phone because my text it's it's so much shit that I be saying in my head that I want to get off. You yeah. a phone, and you a phone, you like phone. Facts. Facts. If we Still was on the that. phone, this should be normal. But if you get, I text you all this shit, you getting to thinking like, oh damn, this nigga like me too much. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Okay, <laughs> that's exactly how I be feeling. I'm be like, damn. But the thing is, a lot of chicks don't be talking on the phone nowadays. You know what I'm saying? Like everybody be wanting to be on text. I'd rather text. That a pre that's a prerequisite for me. If you can't talk on the phone, I can't fuck with you. I'm right there with you. That's that's gonna that has to be some shit. Shout out to the chicks that I do have fucked with because like we've been on some FaceTime and phone call shit. Yeah, I can text and FaceTime, and I don't even really like that. talking on the phone. I'm I'm like you. It's FaceTime first, phone yeah. second. Texting down and not even on the list. Like the only time you text me, hey, I'm outside. Yeah. I I ain't gonna lie, see my young niggas, they the ones that put me on the FaceTime shit, bro. I was I I, I used to only FaceTime like my daughter or like shit. That was really it. And so my young niggas, that's how all they always call is the face. I'm like, damn, why you get yeah, niggas always FaceTime me and shit? They like Nigga, this how we call. This how we talk. Yeah. Yeah, and then then they was also on some like they said some shit. They said, "Yo, and then the feds can't really tap like Facetimes." So I don't know if that's true or not. Nah, this is definitely true. Like, uh, see, when them they told me that ever since then, I was like, okay, I get it. But yeah, then females, it's like I ain't a lot Facetime with a female. <laughs> nah, it's cool. Yeah, especially when she <laughs> if she answering the Facetime every time you got, she fuck with you because sure a lot of bitches Facetime by appointment only. Like, you gotta let this bitch know. And Shane in the wrong spots at the wrong yeah, time. Or she, <laughs> nah, yeah, she got to make sure she all dolled up. Yeah, right, right. Yeah, so goddamn me, you got like when she answering that FaceTime call, she fuck with you. See, I ain't gonna lie, I I be I ain't gonna lie. A couple chicks, I especially one is one shit. She uh, we used to FaceTime like all all day. Like that's the only way she would call and how I would call. She be rolling up sometimes, let alone shit. She'll be like, shit, I'm finna get in the bathroom, I'm finna take a shower. She keep the shit on while she's in the shower. Shut up. That's I epic. like that shit. That's yeah. fucking epic. But mm-hmm. I don't like it when I, when we on FaceTime. That's all I can see is the fucking silly. Yeah, that's how most people be talking. Yeah. Like, if I see with silly, the hole up there, it, on a, when I, if I'm talking to if I'm talking to the niggas or something, mm-hmm. yeah, I'm cool. Oh, yeah, that's cool. Females, I'm talking to doing female? that same shit. I'm like, no, no, that's a red flag. Seeing this, they forehead some shit. That's a red flag. There. Who you with or what you doing? Why am I not? Seeing I can't it? expect that just for some like, if a female not a, with the wrong or with, with a nigga or anything, she ain't gonna, she ain't gonna answer her FaceTime. She ain't gonna answer it. That FaceTime? Yeah. Mm-mm. FaceTime is different. So do you think do you think they're more tighter and on their P's and Q's than niggas? Yeah. Women? Yeah. yeah. I told y'all they're not. I, I explained this to y'all. I said, yeah. No. I just told women just fuck with the better species. We, we, did, we, we did talk we, about Women this. fuck with men. Yeah. Men fuck with women. But but call me crazy though. It's so odd. Like I feel like you can read it on yo bitch, a bitch that you fucking with when she is on some bullshit, when she's yeah. fucking with other niggas. Like you just feel the vibes. You can see it. They right. can't feel it on us. But see, they you... can't feel it on us. They have to go do detective work. Uh-huh, see, uh-huh. because because uh, she'll come to another female and the bitch you fucking with I ain't gonna keep it solid. But if a nigga come to me, man, bro, my bitch be fucking with you. What? Oh, you got a good girl. Chill out. I'm fucking that hoe the whole time. Uh-huh. We not gonna we not gonna blow the spot. Right. 
that's the that's the difference. <laughs> Look, bro, we got some good going. You got some good with her. I got some good with her. I ain't even gonna fuck it up. Yeah, like that. Man, yeah. Really, like, why you gonna fuck up your pussy? Cause mm. this nigga tripping. Like, nah, bro. Wait, what? But yeah. females be waiting to do that shit. Yeah, it's. They be yeah, waiting for that day. You fuck with Ron Ron. <laughs> Y'all be fucking the shit out your nigga. <laughs> <laughs> That's what they be saying. They be on. Like, women are sick. I'm like, damn. They just fuck bitch. with the better species. Like, bro, that's, that's just that. Yes. Yeah, <laughs> they not slickers. Uh, I, I, yeah, I, that's what I'm saying. I don't think they are. Like, I think that they're more conniving, but I don't think that they're like, I think that at the end of the day, niggas is. Niggas move swiftly, man. Like, yeah, I just think females can hold things in the closet more than nigga can. Now, how uh, granddaddies used to get caught up, that shit was wild. Like, now that, them that. niggas was sloppy. Like, you <laughs> left a, a, a bitch number in your pocket on a piece of paper. See that? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> that yeah, shit yeah, was yeah, fucking yeah. sloppy. Nah, bro. them niggas was outside. Shit, we was, get, number. we was getting numbers with the written down. The, yeah, we was doing it's, that. A, it's a beautiful thing. I'm, I'm glad it's still be, been a part of that. Yeah, niggas was youthful, but like to be a part of the actual get a chick's number. On a piece and, of paper. and really put that work in that lay that down that foundation to like build like that's Plus, a different cloth like see, you really nah, I came from it like I, I I'm probably the last generation of this the last the numbers over on the here. motherfucking paper uh -huh. but you had to be super sloppy to leave the shit oh, in yeah, your yeah, pants yeah, yeah. pocket and your girl pick up the shit and right and yeah. doing your laundry yeah like that's some <laughs> stupid ass shit bro yeah, yeah that's sloppy yeah like, that's sloppy I, I think granddad and them didn't give a fuck really. Like, bitch, where you gonna go? I pay all the fucking bills. Yeah, I don't think. Yeah, I don't think they gave a fuck because also at the same time, I think women were built different than back then. They were more. I'm gonna say it, they were probably more loyal, bro. Mm -hmm. So like, they really weren't catching bodies like that. They they caught their body and was like, all right, I caught my body. I, I'm stomped down for them. Yeah, nah, I'm, I'm don't, don't you ever? Nah, grandma and them got their lick back. He said they're still fucking. He, he, you gotta understand how many, like, especially down south, how many motherfuckers like it was always an outside child in the fucking family dead. Damn. Don't nobody know who the motherfucking they say this was my daddy, but this one this one that person dad. <laughs> God damn it. Grandma got a lick back, got pregnant, but granddaddy still kept that bitch around. Damn. That shit happened a lot. It's an evil world we live in. It ain't evil. It was damn near fair because granddad had a whole family around the corner. <laughs> nah, damn. for real. That grandma didn't say shit about. Uh -huh. Nah, you right, because you know how you hear, you ever hear like so many people talk about how they got like uh, their dad's side and their mom's side, but they niggas don't even be able to count their dad's side. Like brother, they'd be like, "Yeah, I got a bunch of brothers." I don't even know. I mean, mm -hmm. niggas do be out here just none and whatever. Yeah, it's wild. Yeah, nah, kids, kids are too expensive, man. Niggas can't be adding that. See, back then kids weren't as as expensive, so that shit wasn't as crazy. But I ain't gonna lie, bro. 60s, 70s, all that old ass shit. That shit, shit. Niggas would have probably been moving sloppy and active too if if niggas was partying the way they was partying back then. Yeah, I feel like I want to have the same amount of females as I knocked down when I was a younger. I think I, I think niggas would have had more because I think the way the game set up now is so much knowledge for females to really like. They it's so much film. They know what they're going Duke, against. You're true, you're right. So they can read defenses and shit. Like Ooh, they got back then. If a nigga come out with a cover two or a cover three, they don't know how to how to play. It, not right? at all. So niggas is picking everything off and housing it. Damn, you're right. Housing it. The technology of so, motherfucker right so, now, though. Bro. So when grandpa was coming up to you, he was really, when he said, uh, you don't know what you're doing with the pussy. He, he meant that. really meant that. He meant that. Bro, you got to think. And then you listen to, I don't get into music, but you just listen to the music and the vibes and shit that there was on and shit like that. And then it kind of goes back into what we was talking about weed and shit. Them niggas was high as hell. They was doing what they was doing. Yeah. Bro. But, but see, the vibes the, was there. The thing was, though, uh, Grandma probably grand grandma and granddad relationship. They probably really did love each other because that was the best that they can obtain. It it, it wasn't like they could see a bitch on Instagram and fly in. Right. So yeah, you might have had the baddest bitch on your block and you loved her like she was Beyonce. Right. I right. miss them days. Yeah, because like it wasn't no goddamn, it wasn't nobody to compare her to. Nah, for real. It, I don't compare my I, I'm not the type that need the baddest bitch to make to lock her down. But you know, if you had the baddest bitch, goddamn, you probably gonna love that whole a little bit more harder. Right. But what's the baddest bitch nowadays where there's Instagram and all this shit? Exactly. exactly. That's what he said. So it's like, say you take away social media, you mm -hmm. got your girl now. Mm -hmm. You take away social media, it's like niggas can't tell you shit. It's like, you know it. Like, yeah, yeah nigga, like you got like, the baddest bitch in the room. She might, she probably be a, a clean six. Yeah. But she the baddest bitch in the room. You for the cherish her. 
Yeah. As if she was that 10 because you don't got no There's knowledge. There's no other girl on this planet that yeah. looks like this, that right, acts right, like this. We, Because right. right now, if you get on Instagram, if you search hard enough, you go through your followers enough, you're going to find something very similar. Yeah, like, put, yeah. like put one fat chick in jail. Okay? <laughs> it ain't no other bitches in that whole jail. Niggas going to act like that hoe's a queen. Right. Because she's the only chick in that vicinity. I ain't going to say I've been niggas in jail, niggas be but i seen them, niggas. Them COs be... Yeah. Yeah. You know, I'm ugly ass here. <laughs> Niggas be beating on the window going crazy. <laughs> About like, some, some clean threes. <laughs> clean threes. Going mm-hmm. crazy. Acting like they ain't never seen a female in their life. Yeah. I I I think that like social like the way shit was set <clears throat> up when we was kids. Cause like really that's what it was. We was kids, you know, high school and shit. Not even by high school, because it's like it was what Facebook and shit. Mm-hmm. So, I don't even know if we'll count that, but like, yeah, nah, because we having a message and text and shit. But to actually get chicks numbers and shit and like really like having phone conversations back when it was like you was a kid, it was like nigga. It was all phone conversation when we was little. Your your mom, your mom, damn near on picking up the phone while yeah. you on the phone. Like, get off the fucking get off phone. Get off the phone. Oh, You've yeah, been on this phone for an hour. Nigga, what? You've been on this phone for an hour. Get off. And it's crazy. Then I don't want to get into the corny shit. You, you ain't, niggas, niggas don't fell asleep talking talking to their chicks on the phone. A lot. Yeah, that was cool. A lot. That, <laughs> back, back then, that a was lot. cool. <laughs> a okay, lot. Okay, okay, <laughs> niggas, you yeah, feel yeah. that? That's what I'm saying. So it's like some shit is just like it's that shit can always be different. I know niggas is text niggas, and that's the generation now, but like that word of mouth and really building that, like, bro, you can accomplish a lot in a one long ass phone conversation. So can. so can you might find out y'all niggas head over heels in love off of that one conversation and know like, oh yeah, we finna keep rocking. Or yeah, this shit was cool, but nah, like that's that- why that's why I just I miss them days, but at the same time, that text give you time to think. It and also that, give her that, time to think, but that's hey. the problem. Yeah, it's too much thinking going on. Niggas is trying to huddle up. We running, we running. Uh, what's it called? Hurry up, hurry up, hurry huddle up. up with the phone. Yeah, we got our plays ready. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I'm ready. I'm like, the... I'm, 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 I'm gonna keep it. You can't, you can't, you can't fake a phone call. No, nah, not at all. It's but, so on the spot. Yeah, it's genuine. Like it's an interview. Yeah, like but when you texting, oh, I can think about. Delete, 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 delete. Yeah. You send this, nah, nah, that's how I'm corny. Yeah. And it's too much like you you already fucking up because you creating an image that you really ain't that. Unless, I mean, but think about it. Unless you run a business, unless you got to sell up on some money or something, females ain't out here on the phone. They right. just like us. They busy. Yeah, they're not. They're they're, they're, they're definitely not. <laughs> so on the that phone, phone like that. stuff that ain't happening a lot. If if a chick call, if you talk to a chick on the phone, Facetime, or they call you, fuck that. If a chick calls you nowadays, I respect shout out to a chick. She she called me while he's doing the podcast. If they call you, you really like that, or no, they she, really fuck she, with she you. She interested. Yeah, because chicks are not calling nobody. She nah. texted three niggas at one time, but it, it's only one, one motherfucker she can shit. be on the phone with. You right. Uh, Damn. Ding, 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 ding. How, how long do you have to be, you know, fucking with her, talking to her until she uh cuts the rest of her roster and, and franchise tags you? It's her. Um, she it's, cuts the rest of her roster? Yeah, you just said she's talking to three It depends how much y'all kicking and how much y'all fucking, but I'd I say probably, I'd probably say uh, two to three months. Two to three months. Yeah, a bitch needs to cut her roster. She fucking with me immediately. Her, her roster is strong, and I, I feel like a female got to really fuck with you to cut her roster off compared yeah. to a nigga. Yeah, C- cutting his roster off. Yeah, see, not nah, like I know too many examples. I, I told I told my wife this. I was like, bro, we might have been in a relationship the the first year we was in. It. I was like, we've been in the year for a relationship, but I ain't started taking you serious to month four. See, mm. like you, and I'm the same way. And females like, like that too. All these bitches I've been with that didn't held me down, bought me shit to eat, wrote me when I was in, when I was going through, what I was going through. Like who who held it down? Who was silent and loyal to me? I just can't cut them off because we girlfriends, boyfriend. I don't know you yet. Yeah, see. So nah. it, it's like a whole motherfucker year, yearly quarter for me to just cut these bitches off. The yearly quarter. See, I fuck with that. I fuck with that. No, that's I I I I believe that too. But the thing is, like, I feel like women have a nigga on a on a time clock, like. To where it's like they don't I don't think they always understand that shit. The real ones do, but it's like it takes us a little bit more time. Like it don't take niggas long to know, oh, I like you, I want you. I but, like you, I know you, but I still don't mean I like you, I want you, to, but I don't know you. For a nigga to be on some 
I really love you. A lot can change. I really, I really fuck with you. That take a while. Yeah, it's, and, and it takes some real nigga shit. Like I remember when niggas was a kid, like niggas was young, like college shit. Like, I remember, you know, somebody picked me up from the airport. Mm-hmm. Like, that was just thoughtful to me. It was like, mm-hmm. damn, you picked me all the way up from the fucking airport. The real shit they do. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Or mm-hmm. motherfucking just little, little things that beat like amounts to the bigger picture. Like, damn, you did it. These other ones ain't doing that. Mm-hmm. But it's like, yeah, if you're not doing that off the rip. That's why I like to go through things with a bitch just to see where her mind at. That's when you're gonna see if she really fuck with you. I feel like a lot of chicks ain't they 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 go into it. They don't they not they don't really want to put it like go through nothing with niggas nowadays. And they'll tell you and they'll show you that they not with it. <laughs> if they ain't really not fuck with you, they're gonna show you. If you put them in that situation. But I think they're setting themselves up for failure. I I think that they're setting themselves up for failure though, if, if she doesn't want to go through none or she's not prepared for that. Like we were just talking about that out of camera though. Most bitches like finished products. Yeah, and I can't deal with a bitch that just she don't ain't down the ride at all. Fries at McDonald's, huh? She don't want to fuck with you while you on the fries at McDonald's. I don't give a fuck how much money or how rich I get. If you were that type of bitch, I don't fuck with you. Yeah, nah, I, I, the the chicks that like was with me through like the tough times or through some like bullshit. Those are gonna all, like even if it's like if, I won't even say smoke. Even if it's like we not cool like now, it's like. You, you verified you val you, you validated with me like mm-hmm. like the, the next niggas that get you and shit like that you know if, you, if they need to call me for a scouting report I'll I'll, right. I'll say yeah no nah, they their forty yard dash is is crazy like a bitch who like a bitch who's into simple shit is the best bitch team player I don't like no uh, bougie bitch we've said this before talked about you too yeah yeah she 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 a glue she's a glue player like she's for the better for the bigger picture I she's love a bougie ass bitch I love you like a bougie. Home. Hell yeah, I love a hard time. I don't like it. that bitch. No whole fucking word because like, you waste my money at the end of the day. No, nah, if a bitch on some uh, no, I'm not talking about booze as a term of finances. Uh huh. I'm mm-hmm. talking about like uppity, it, like how she feels. Yeah, about uppity, herself? witty, talk back, smart. Like them the bitches oh, yeah, that, like they that really too. know they. Oh, I don't consider that bougie. Yeah, I'm gonna say that's bougie. Then yeah, we all. Like I don't bougie. consider. I like that. I, yeah, I don't but consider not that bougie, bougie in the sense of like you gotta have a Chanel bag. Bitch. That's what I mean by bougie. Oh, fuck you. Yeah, I don't like them <laughs> bitches. I hate that. I don't like them bitches. But yeah. a bitch who's gonna talk back and really tell me how she feel. Yeah, I love that. Yeah, nah, for real. Everybody need a little something. Nobody, no, men or women, nobody wants to push over somebody they can walk over. Mm-hmm. Like even when you do have some a chick that you can really run and shit, it's like at some point you be on some like, damn, put up a fight, like mm-hmm. stand up for yourself or say something or like, you know what I'm saying, be your own, you know, st- stand on something type shit. That's what every chick wants too. Think about that, like chicks be making memes about that shit when a nigga do get loud or say something slick, they but like they, that shit. But there's a lot of niggas who don't want their bitch to say nothing back, don't want to hear what you got to think about it all. There's a lot of niggas out there like that. And them niggas. I want to be with my bitch. I about to say two that, minds is more better than one. Yeah, I about to say those, those niggas got the game fucked up, and I might have been those niggas when I was younger. But like, yeah, nah, shit. I appreciate a chick that can, you know, what I'm saying, speak her mind or something. Just you no, know, just hear me out when I speak mine back. Right. Cause I'm gonna listen to you. Yeah, I love to hear what she got to say. Hell yeah, just don't be disrespectful. Nah. but man, shit, nah, man. It's just another episode. Was episode four? Yeah. The revolving message, man. Keep it a hundred. Just keep it a hundred. Yeah. And and don't cheat on your bitch. Two K say the best thing to do is have a side bitch. I don't agree with it. If you go, <laughs> hey, hey, if you gonna cheat on it, f- f- fuck the bitch with your bitch. That's no, how I feel. I, I, I yeah. believe in supervised cheating, man. Go yeah. out in. <laughs> go out in, man. I just want everybody to be happy, man. So however that works, figure it out. But you know, episode four in, in the books, man. Shit. We signing out, man. Shit, we gonna we gonna we gonna we gonna catch back up, but A one Rico underscore two one four. And if you smoke weed, man, smoke your weed. You're not a crackhead, man. I'm gonna keep smoking. Yeah, yeah. I'm gonna keep smoking <laughs> weed. <laughs>